all needed supplies, the central line kit, sterile gown, sterile gloves, hat, mask, injectable saline, bio patch, central line dressing, sinusite, and sinusite probe cover are collected. Before beginning the procedure, the ultrasound should be used to examine the patient's venous anatomy to ensure that there are no anomalies. The central line kit should be opened onto the table. The ultrasound probe cover, the bio patch, and the sterile dressing should be opened onto the field. The gown and gloves should be sterilely applied. The assistant should empty sterile saline onto the tray. The cap is broken off the lidocaine, and the lidocaine is drawn into the syringe. All ports of the catheter are flushed with saline to remove any air from the system.
patient's neck and upper chest are sterilely prepped. The thyroid drape is placed over the patient, leaving only the neck and upper chest exposed. The assistant applies gel to the end of the ultrasound probe. The probe is inserted inside the probe cover. Special attention is taken to ensure the outside of the cover remains sterile. The site of skin insertion is determined by the ultrasound. Lidocaine is injected from the skin surface down to the jugular vein. For insertion, the patient should be placed in Trendelenburg position. The jugular vein is placed in the center of the ultrasound screen. The introducer needle is inserted into the jugular vein with direct visualization. A flash of dark red blood is seen. The syringe should be removed from the needle. The guide wire is inserted through the needle into the vein with little resistance. The needle is removed over the guide wire out of the skin. If no ultrasound is available, the landmark technique should be used. Locate the jugular triangle lateral to the carotid artery pulse between the two heads of the sternocleidomastoid. The needle is inserted at the top of the triangle at a 45 degree angle towards the ipsilateral nipple until the vessel is reached. The scalpel is used to make a nick incision into the skin. The dilator is placed over the guide wire through the skin into the vessel. The dilator is removed from the skin and a finger should be placed over the hole to limit bleeding. The catheter is inserted over the guide wire. Care is taken to have full control of the guide wire at all times. Once the catheter is in place, the guide wire should be removed. Each port on the catheter should be aspirated and flushed with sterile saline.
The catheter is now affixed in place. The included suture is used to suture the catheter clamp to the skin. The bio patch and sterile dressing can now be applied.